Santa Fe is also particularly proud of its communication system, the most comprehensive privately owned system of any railroad in the world. To expedite communications along our lines, we have an elaborate teletype system, planned so expertly that although it serves a vast empire of railroad territory, of yards, stations, and offices, delays in the transmission of messages are seldom encountered. Another Santa Fe feature is the teletype switchboard. This device makes it possible to send and to receive messages from the same office over the same wire at the same time. In addition, we have installed wire services between Chicago and many of our offline offices to further augment our facilities for keeping our patrons informed. With Santa Fe, service is a byword. Car movements used to be recorded while en route. Today, in order to give the conductor more time to supervise his train while in transit, these reports are prepared at originating terminals. Listing cars in the order they stand in the train, the complete report is sent ahead by teletype to the destination terminal. This enables the destination yard master to plan switching in advance. The train can be worked immediately upon arrival, reducing terminal detention time, which automatically increases yard capacity. It speeds icing, heating, and servicing of perishables, expedites the handling of diversions, and the delivery of important ladings to connecting lines and consignees. Wheel reports are also forwarded to a centralized bureau from where the customer can be informed of the exact location, arrival, and expected time of delivery of his shipments while on our line. From head end to caboose, every phase of modern railroading is continually being tested. The dynamometer car records such things as train line and brake cylinder pressure and the power performance of locomotives by measuring the pull on the drawbar. These things are important, providing data from which to figure the behavior of the entire train. Here's an important safety factor, the rail detector car. From one end of our railroad to the other, electronically controlled mechanisms test our tracks continually searching for any possible flaw in rail steel. Flaws which are found, though rarely, in spite of every care from manufacture to maintenance. When a flaw is detected, a crew of experts, especially trained in this important work, verify the flaw by a hand-checking device, marking the faulty rail for immediate replacement. Maintenance of right-of-way is one of the most important operations on any railroad. This is a ballast cleaner developed by Santa Fe, which speeds the job by cleaning and replacing the ballast in one continuous operation. Another important feature of track maintenance is the stability of roadbed. A process developed by Santa Fe to eliminate pockets caused for pocket. The seepage is forced out, and the faulty roadbed is quickly and thoroughly repaired. An innovation that is an important aid in train operations is the radio telephone. The ordinary delay. Santa Fe has been experimenting with the Relophone for almost 20 years, recent tests having demonstrated its practicability from train to train, from train to office, and between head and rear end of the train while underway. An auxiliary of established signal, communication, and safety devices, the radio telephone is an outstanding example of progress in modern railroading. We were one of the first railroads to realize the need and to foster controlled research. 
take full advantage of every service provided by metallurgists and scientists in the field of modern railroading. Here at Topeka, through the wizardry of modern science, the causes and effects of flaws and defects are continually being studied. The goal? A better, a more efficient railroad. Always searching, testing, always reaching for the peak of perfection, Santa Fe is determined that its materials shall be of the finest quality, performance, and resistance. Is determined to discover how and why and exactly where the ultimate can be obtained from anything and everything that goes into keeping them rolling. To meet the increasing demands on our freight and passenger traffic facilities, yards and trackage originally thought to be adequate for years to come have been doubled and redoubled. At many key points, yards have been enlarged, new yards constructed, and lead track extended. This required the most ingenious planning. In some instances, the removal of entire sections of mountains. An example of the continuous trend to discard the old for the new is Topak Bridge spanning the Colorado River. Constructed as a part of line changes on this important division, it removes any possibility of delays from washouts. What about power? New engines, mammoth diesels, the largest fleet of diesel power in the world. Larger and more powerful steam locomotives to enhance one of the most important fleets of power developed by any railroad. Experts are always available, placing their many years of experience at the disposal of shippers to devise ways and means of loading and moving items of unusual size and shape. Automobile cars have special racks to increase capacity and facility of loading and bracing. Improved private line refrigerator cars provide the best equipment for fast and dependable delivery service for livestock products. We have an extensive, well-planned program to instruct our employees in meeting and cooperating with the traveling and shipping public. We have developed close coordination of truck and rail service to speed up delivery of consignments. We have our own trailways bus system, the last word in comfort and convenience. To fully understand and appreciate the extent of the efforts continually being expended, one has but to pause along any division where hammers and scrapers and rollers and concrete mixers and maintenance crews are reducing curves and grades building new stations and shops and diesel facilities. Anything and everything to the one end that Santa Fe better serve its customers and the nation. We are the only railroad operating exclusively on its own rails between Chicago and California. And we are continually improving roadbeds, laying more miles of heavier steel. Years back, Santa Fe began looking ahead with unalterable faith in the South and West. That faith has carried through good times and bad, and today big things are happening in the territory served by Santa Fe. This is great territory. These are great states, possessing all of nature's attributes in abundance, capable of absorbing the tremendous increase in population drawn here to share the prosperity both of industrial and agricultural expansion born of seemingly endless deposits of those vital raw materials which in great part measure the stability of future planning. Yes, the states served by Santa Fe are great states, and this is a great railroad within the boundaries of a great empire in whose development we have been privileged to play an important part. Our planning includes more and more miles of track controlled by CTC. In other words, we intend to keep the capacity of our railroad well ahead of demand. On October 30th, 1868, rail was laid on the first unit of our railroad. 
Today, that 17 miles in Kansas has grown to more than 20,000 miles of steel. Serving people and products from Illinois to California, from Colorado to the Gulf Coast, throughout the nation and the entire world. Yesterday's railroading pioneers pushed ahead against tremendously discouraging odds. Today's railroaders are continuing to build on the solidarity of their foundation, continuing to provide the shipper and the traveler with the greatest advancements in safety, comfort, speed, and economy. To that end, we have always dedicated and will continue to dedicate to the fullest our facilities and experience. Ours is an unending determination to make an even greater railroad of the system known as the Santa Fe.